God morning. How are you doing? This is Pastor Jean with your moment of cheer inspiration this morning. Yes, I'm here in Louisville, Kentucky at the WSF competition. You know, my daughter, for those that don't know, my daughter's a competitive cheerleader. And, you know, this is part of being a dad, you know, not just a pastor, but I have to be a father. You know, I have to do what God has called me to do. But in that, you know, one of the things I believe in doing is bringing that cheer inspiration, that inspiration to those cheerleaders, to those that are here that are away from home. You know, you can't make it to service, but I want to make sure you get this word. And today I want to talk to you about confidence. No matter what you're dealing with today, listen, you have to be confident. God said that we're more than conquerors. Now, more than conquerors means just this. That means that you have to attack things with vigor. You have to attack things with strength. You have to attack things with, 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 with everything that you have. You have to make sure that you're strong enough. I want you to hear something from me. In Romans 8 and 31, it says, what shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spread not his own son, but delivered him up for us. He who is not with him also freely give us all things. Who shall lay up all things to charge God's elect? It is God that justifies. Who is he that commanded this? It is Christ that died. Now I want you to go follow down to 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, shall distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for they sake who are killed all the day long, we are accounted as sheep to slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors. Him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor other creatures shall be able to separate us from the love of God of Christ Jesus. Now, what that means is this. And I know it was kind of fast, but here's the thing. There's nothing that can stop you from being the best you that you are. There's nothing, okay? Listen, I know that for those shielders that are here, you're thinking about, listen, I don't know if I can put it all I'm going to hold off. And a lot of times we do that in life. We're saying, listen, I'm not going to do it today. I'm not going to go after that new job. I'm not going to go after that new venture. I'm not going to go after that new investment. I'm not going to take that chance. But here's the thing. Today is today. And today is the only day that you have. Tomorrow's not promised. You got to give it all you got today. I understand you may not be feeling well, but you're more than a conqueror. I understand that you have so many things facing against you, but don't hold off for tomorrow to forsake today. Because today is the only day you have. Think about it. If you're up there and you're holding that stunt and you and you realize that stunt is coming down, you cannot sit back and say, well, listen, we're going to let it come down because tomorrow we'll make it up. You don't know that. You don't know what may happen. And in life, you can't just give up that same way and say, I'll worry about it tomorrow. Fix it today. Stick it out. Hold it up. Nail it. I want you, whatever it is that you feel is coming down in your life, I want you to push with that intestinal fortitude and push it back up in the air. I want you to hold strong be strong and believe that you are more than a conqueror. Remember, a conqueror only attacks. They don't wait to defend. They go after it. You cannot be more than a conqueror unless you're going after what God has promised you. I know everybody can't win in the way that we look at it, but everybody can be a winner in the way that God sees it. And being a winner is the one that doing everything God gave you and doing the best that, and the ability that God gave you and being diligent in it and being true to yourself and to God. This is Pastor Jean, Pastor of East Atlanta Church, with your moment of cheer inspiration for everyone. Listen, I am here at WSF. If you have any special prayer requests, just talk to me. You know, I got a many messages from you already from people. Listen, pull me aside. Pastor, would you pray for me? Listen, I will be there. I'm here for you. I want to lift you up spiritually. I want you to be, I want you to have your inspiration. But best of all, I want you to be the best you can be and be more than a conqueror. This is Pastor Ward, Pastor of East Atlanta Church. Love you and be blessed. Let's go Rays. Y'all better watch those Apple Rays. They're going to do it for you. And them Peach Rays. Hey, Peachy King. All right. Love you. Bye-bye.